the man who's won it two times is a uh, Ernesto Bertarelli uh, and they've been uh, training for this year's event or next year's event uh, early next year in Ras Al Khaimah right here in the UAE and he joined us in the studio earlier on. Okay Ernesto uh, great to see you here uh, first of all I, I want to know what it's like to be a, a two-time America's Cup winner because there aren't too many of those around are there? Well, it's a, it's a child's dream to, uh, to be able to win the America's Cup, at least if you like sailing. But you never think you'll get there because it's the pinnacle of sports, like you know, being on top of uh, Mount Everest, you never mm -hmm. think you'll get there. So I started as a kid and um, little by little did better and better, got good guys around me, built a strong team and uh, went to New Zealand and won a first time. First time that the cup ever came back to Europe, so mm -hmm. that was a big deal. We organized a fantastic event in Valencia in uh, July 2007 and, and won again. And that was quite a good regatta. I mean, every tricks in the book were played. And <laughs> the last regatta was won by one second. And so it was really exciting. Uh, the, the, the one thing that I know people, in, uh, including myself, we've, we've been excited that the fact it's going to be here. Uh, it was going to be Ras Al Khaimah. But now it looks like it, it, it possibly isn't, without going into the, the complex, complex legal arguments. Why Ras Al Khaimah? Why did you choose that place to well, defend your, your trophy? After, after we won in, in Valencia in 2007, we, we tried to repeat the success we had. And we had 20 teams, and uh, we were ready to go. And, and uh, Larry Ellison's team from uh, America said, hold on a second. I want to challenge you with a gigantic multi hole. Mm. I said, well, hold on, Larry. You know, we have 20 teams here. We're ready to go. I said, no, no, no. So we've been in court uh, eight times uh, yeah. now. And, uh, and here we are with gigantic multi holes in the month of February. Normally, the cup uh, runs in the summer. And we had to find a place where to, uh, to race. And uh, it happens that here in the Emirates, there is brilliant uh, sailing condition. We actually trained, Alinghi trained in 2006, 2007. Pre preparing for the cup here and uh, Russell Kim has been uh, very open uh, very easy to deal with they put together 120 million uh, dollar worth of infrastructure yeah they build an, a, a man-made island for us to uh, put our base and uh, we sit ev every day and it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful no doubt about it um, I, I saw some uh, um, pictures um, quite amazing pictures of of uh, uh, the, the the craft itself, because it was it was built in in Switzerland, being sort of airlifted yeah. by a helicopter. I mean, because yeah. obviously the Switzerland don't have too many open <laughs> seas kind of thing, and you've got to get it into a sea somewhere. Yeah. No, it was absolutely staggering. Yeah, one of the rules of the America's Cup is is the country that uh, that challenges or, or wins the cup has to build the boat in the country. So yes. we had to build the boat in in, in Switzerland. Now, Switzerland is a good place to build boats because they have uh, high technology. They got watch, sure. carbon fiber, high tech. They got lakes, so they got quite a lot of sailors, but they don't have boats the size we build. So mm -hmm. it's a 30 by 30 meters yacht with a mast, which is as high as 60 meters. So we couldn't transport it by road, and we had to get it to the sea. So we actually flew it over amazing. the Alps. Absolutely amazing, on a helicopter. Is it true he could have dropped it if he was in trouble, the, yes, the pilot? Yes, that's true. We, we Seriously? Had, you know, we, the Russian uh, pilots, and we had a long contract with them, and we negotiated that clause very hard. But they said, look, <laughs> our life before your boat, and we had to let it, let it go. Fair trade, you've got to say. Um, uh, what is it like uh, for, for somebody? Can you, can you put into words the, the, the actual thrill uh, and the excitement of being on, on, on a boat going that fast I, in that yeah. level of, of competition as yeah. well. Well, the, the past two cups we won in monohulls, which, um, you know, when you're lucky, they go the speed of wind. Mm -hmm. Now, this boat goes two to three times the speed of wind. And the first exciting is that nobody knew if we were going to be able to put together a machine that big, that fast, that light, that stiff. And uh, the first day we went sailing, we went sailing, all the engineers said, oh, careful, careful, and, but the boy is just uh, fantastic. It, it was born to do what he's mm -hmm. doing, and, and the, the feeling is the, the same feeling you have when you go flying, mm -hmm. um, and you don't really realize the speed until you look beside you and you see the speed boats trying to keep up with Amazing. you, because the, the boat is so big and the sail is so stable that it goes through water like a freight train, yeah. so it's, it's actually the feeling of speed is only the wind, then you start flying off the air, so you're far from, from the mm. water, about 10 meters off the water, and, uh, and um, it's, it's, you know, very elegant, very peaceful, very powerful, yeah. um, and you gotta, you pay attention, everybody pays attention. Right, <laughs> legal issues aside, there'll be an America's Cup, whether it's here, 
whether it's in Valencia, wherever it is, you're you're ready for it. You you, you think you're going to make it three? You know, this is this is a one-on-one -on -one match. It's like a boxing match. You know, it's uh, Swiss technology versus American technology, <laughs> and uh, and you know, like any boxing match, before you get to the ring, there's a lot of talking. Yeah, yeah. And unfortunately, the talking that our counterpart is doing is mostly through the court. But sooner or later will be on the ring and uh, you'll be ready for it. And them. we'll be ready for it. You know, Aling is won twice the cup. We're we're the strongest sailing team in the world and uh, we're looking for that's where we win races, you know, not anywhere not else. Not in court, in the open in the, in the sea. Open Ernesto, sea. lovely meeting you. Best of luck as well. Thank you. Thanks very much. Ernesto Bertarelli. The, my only experience of is when I used to be on the road but they'd be number three, your time's <laughs> up kind of thing <laughs> as no. far as I, I've kind of been. Um, but uh, showtime, orbit showtime are going to bring you the America's Cup, flying it over the Alps. I know. So Unbelievable, it's, 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 a, it's a cheap sport then, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It used oh. to be 20p for half an hour, aren't they? Quite sure we've got air. We'll get cricketers oh. on, we'll get yeah. Yeah. Oh, the ceiling teams a whole bit. It's absolutely magnificent and uh, fascinating stuff uh, from an amazing man, Ernesto Bertarelli. Uh, I was going to throw in a link. Will Phil Brown be relaxing on a boat somewhere <laughs> soon? <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a stretch. Uh, Phil Brown really under the cosh. Uh, met Adam Pearson today. The word being, the new chairman Adam Pearson, the word being that he's going to continue for the time being, at least that despite the defeat of Burnley.